How are you? Thank you very much for joining. No, it's, uh, it's becoming a ritual, right? Like last year at the same point of time that we were talking uh, about Joa and uh, you're an important man. So thank you very <laughs> much uh, for, uh, for spending time. I'm pretty sure you can do you can do other things apart from doing the interview, but it's my pleasure. No, to be no, it's my pleasure. Thank <laughs> you for coming back. Yeah. And um, uh, I'm important only for my kids because I'm the one <laughs> cooking at home. I'm a slave. I'm a good slave. <laughs> no, no, no. no you, that's that's uh, no, he's you are uh, such an important man, especially when it comes to perfumery. Uh, Jawa is a very important place. I, I wish to visit one day. Uh, hey, you Paris. are most welcome. Uh, I invite you if you want. Yeah, I would love that. It's easy. Uh, we have a uh, you if it's more comfortable for you, we can also welcome you in yes, London. I the store is, uh, is a bit different, but uh, welcome in Paris. Anytime. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so uh, last time we spoke a little bit about my favorites uh, from the brand, and now you have something very unique. Uh, space uh, themed this is not usually <laughs> what you what you see from from perfumes and i remember last and in, in milan it was uh, i was asked the question how would space smell like and i was it, it you know we ha it's very esoteric uh, because we it have not uh, to be honest it's not entirely the the inspiration for this perfume okay uh, we wanted to create some kind of a fragrance that creates an aura around you yeah um it's it's like uh, if you let people go inside your aura they are trapped Right. So, right. Uh, but it's also a, a rather strong perfume. So yeah. it's going to fill the space. It's going to leave a trace. Right. Uh, Sometimes we make the joke with the friend saying, "Don't kill anyone wearing this perfume." Yeah. We would know it's you. Because I mean, just it, by the smell. Although when you hear musk, or if you think about musk, it's usually it's something light, but it makes it the presence known uh, right I, so it's supposed to be for you usually the musk fragrances but still the projection it, it can and also since it's big molecules sometimes you get used to it and on your skin you say where is it you know we have had uh, uh, many musky fragrances uh, it's true that um, uh, originally i come from the uh, uh, natural ingredients more than right. essential oils so yeah when you talk about musk, I don't know what we're talking about. You yeah, know better. Exactly. He's going to tell I you mean, about the story of the real, about the real musk <laughs> that we don't use anymore. In, right, in, exactly. In the Amret, you can do a lot yeah, of... You can. Yeah, yeah. Amret, you can do and you can do some kind of, uh, you know, notes put together and create an accord of musk. But, uh, so, of course, we're talking about Musk Palace, which is the latest fragrance from Joy. Uh, Francois, what was the... So, we talked about the idea. Yeah. How, like you also know other fragrances that are in the store. True. So what was important for you? Like, did you look, because you have such a big <clears> excess <throat> and when you do a brand for yourself, you exactly know I don't what think. I should do, uh, which is very, it's a pleasure, right? Uh, if, if I was that smart, <laughs> we would be sitting on a boat together. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year, you know. Maybe, maybe next year. <laughs> maybe I can rent one. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, no kidding. It's, you're right that uh, there are already several masks in the, out there. Yeah. Uh, in my store, we have uh, 2,500 uh, references. So Crazy. we have a few of these musky fragrances. The idea with musk, um, generally, you have very powdery one, floral one. Yeah. It could be also woody somehow. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, in, in general, we we think it's 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 rather feminine. It's rather sensual. It is sensual actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we can give it a try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Too much. <laughs> no, there you are. So here, um, you you the idea was to create something a bit appealing. Yeah. Uh, mouth watering on the modern side, which is more the fruity side, mm -hmm. but also using very uh, sophisticated ingredients such as iris. You yeah. heard that at a certain time, iris is one of the most precious uh, ingredients of our world. Uh, uh, of course, this huge, huge molecule of, of uh, molecules of uh, musk needs mm -hmm. something. It's like a balloon, you know, you need yeah. to put warm hair. For, for the to, for to the balloon to take off, absolutely. Um, so you have a, a citrus, a citrusy note also on top. But I will say, when you wear that, you wear a more uh, of a signature fragrance. Yeah. Um, in a way that it's rather unique to my knowledge. Uh, probably out there, people will start to compare it with something else that I don't yeah. know about. But I, I um, can't compare it because the, the, you know, musk is musk. Yeah, it's you know, absolutely. Uh, it's so. I think it's the florals that that make it unique. Uh, uh, unique, uh, and and also the fruit. So yeah. palace. Uh, why this name? Yeah. Um, 
uh, when we were looking at the stars, yeah, the, so the whole concept of the fragrance is that we want to create like a, a, an aura around you, mm -hmm. like a fog uh, uh, that is really uh, signing your presence. Um, and also, it's, it's like for us uh, as an asteroid belt yeah, uh, right. that protect the main, um, uh, that sign the, yeah, the boundary right. and right, protect right. The, the main planet yeah. being you and me. Right. And so you don't let any Body, you know, go inside your uh, own universe. Yes. And uh, and and, exactly and, and like we said in the beginning, once you you got too close to the the hunter, yeah, yeah. you become the prey. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, yeah, here, we look at the stars and we saw many uh, asteroids that mm -hmm. uh, um, made sense, had great names, but. Mm -hmm. Pallas is, uh, I think it's the second biggest asteroid. Okay, uh, I didn't know that. Okay. Me neither, to be honest. Okay, Pallas, but, but, okay. But we, lo we liked also the, the joke of people saying they don't know how to write in French. Yeah. Pallas doesn't spell like that. You okay, know, like a palacio. C. Ah, okay, I see. Okay. So <laughs> people say, uh, oh, you wear this perfume if you go into a palace. Uh, okay. So it's already very dressed up. It's very evening. It's yeah. very um, something you want to wear for a, a wedding, a, part, a party. Yeah. Uh, this um, um, uh, nice dinner with your better half uh, right. in a very fancy hotel or palace. Right. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I will say you are uh, uh, in a predator mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> uh, but, but was it uh, first of all, difficult to work with, like mask in general? Like, how was there a lot of to and fro with the perfumers? Uh, no, I mean uh, everything is easy for me because, uh, as you know, I'm not a perfumer, so yeah. I'm, more, I'm more an artistic director. Even though I have the, the background of making uh, distillation when I was uh, your age, uh, okay. like uh, 20, 40, 30 years ago. <laughs> Awesome. And, um, now you can calculate back. I can tell you my age afterwards. I'm 48, <laughs> so you made the math. <laughs> You're 25? No, I'm, I'm 33. Uh, <laughs> you'll tell us a secret in, uh, in the next video. <laughs> that is for another channel. <laughs> All right. Your interview. Yeah, yeah. When you go to Paris, I will interview you. Thank you. With pleasure. My pleasure. So, so uh, I'm lost. I'm lost in the in the discussion. No, we, we talked about the perfumer and how it was. Ah, uh, so Vanina again. Uh, it's so easy and pleasant to work with her, and it was a bit of a challenge mm -hmm. because you might remember when we talked about uh, Jeroboam brand my yeah. second brand last year and the whole project was all about musk so how can she work on on on, on, a, on a musky fragrance for jewelry that was right a because the, the 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 jeroboam fragrances are completely different and they are much more on the stronger side and this is more french elegance thank you know? i don't yeah. know uh, if french and elegant fit in the same sentence uh, uh, <laughs> and perfume for sure for me this is is like a french elegant french dna okay uh, w without any thoughts i mean also of course about the mask you know what i'm getting old so i take all compliments no no <laughs> I, I mean it's a completely different from fire at will for example so i would you know, you see the contrast. I mean, mm. my wife is wearing a lot of fire at will. Okay. I'm wearing masks, so it, it, the house smells very good, let's say. My like goodness. Yeah, yeah. The fire at will. She yeah, knows yeah. what she's doing. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Dangerous. It's, it's her favorite fragrance. Uh, what what is your good name? Uh, Emilia. Emilia, I love Emilia. you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you I'll, so pass the, I'll, pass the, I'll pass the message. Uh, so, so. And he's really working in Cannes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so. So it was a good like collaboration with the perfumer. So because she yes. has done Jeroboam, and it's completely different in my opinion. The old DNA. I I, I told Vanina, look, we uh, we need to work on some. I, what I like with Jeroboam, they are eau de parfum, but in mm -hmm. the end, they are uh, rather concentrated and fair. Yeah. Uh, people out there sometimes say, hey, Jeroboam fragrance mm -hmm. are uh, somehow of good quality because uh, they stay. They I mean, despite uh, away from from talking about. Uh, here a patchouli, a fruity, a vanilla, they say yeah. they're pretty fair because they last on skin. I mean, right. you, have, you have some kind, it's a bit raw, but you have value for money. I mean. Right, right, right. Sure. And, um, they're priced very well. Yeah. I think so. So uh, we're not going to increase the price. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, and, and here for this musk, we're not we're not looking uh, for the uh, original animalic musk right. that we can't use anymore in mm -hmm. the modern perfumery. But um, I think one of our friends, Parfum d'Empire, with uh, Musqueton Quint, did the job. Yeah. And you want to try uh, a, a musk as it used to be or it should be uh, 
uh, with this. Uh, uh, he uses the jasmine, as right, you know, right, right, and it right, makes right. it very animalic. Uh, that's the real story. Here we are more into a modern uh, yeah. perfume around a cocktail of musk uh, yeah. again, because mm -hmm. I discovered when we uh, worked with Vanina on the Joe Brown project that there are several musks. Yeah, and here. Yes, it's all about Jovoy. Uh, yeah. uh, when we talk about Jovoy, we're talking about perfumes who are uh, uh, here to attract the attention. Right, right, absolutely. Okay? We uh, mm -hmm. want to stand out. We want to uh, um, 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 also have something that will uh, be faithful on, on the long term. And then, of course, yeah. to choose if it's a patchouli, go for psychedelic. If you uh, want a vanilla, go for fire at will. Yeah. And if you want something a bit uh, mysterious, uh, not easy to comprehend because mm -hmm. vanilla is a vanilla. Yeah, uh, a musk is more mysterious. So here, we see a lot of people also using this perfume to uh, betray your uh, better half, <laughs> betray um, your better half. Uh, in a good way. Also, also for another video. Uh, <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Betraying well, your better half. I tried my best to. Uh, bon. uh, no, uh, yeah. Let's say you're wearing, you know, your favorite cologne. So cologne yeah. is somehow so uh, a bit weak. Layer. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use this musk fragrance, which is going to give volume to your right, perfume. Right. There are a lot of pe people out there layering. Officially, we can't say to put two perfu different perfume on the skin on the right. same spot, yeah. because that wouldn't be state of the art. Yeah. But some people do and uh, take their own risk, by the way, uh, which are zero. But if you are allergic to uh, everything, so here the idea you can use it on a scarf, inside a vest, and then and use it. And it will just you know, surround you, so to say. And it will give volume, and yeah. it will give lasting, and you will remain the same person. But with this little plus, right. that, what, are you, did you change your perfume? Right, right. Because, because you're the you know, same, but not. So um, it's a trick. Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember my father, uh, who told me that uh, be careful uh, when I, I was getting married, and he said the last sentence the father said to us, he said, <laughs> Be careful of the everyday life. Okay. You have to fight against poorness, uh, uh, and and and, and yeah. the everyday life kills a couple. So, these are little tricks that we can use to betray in a good way yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, our better half. Yeah. Um, and and remain the same person, but give volume. Or it could be something you know. You like your perfume, but it doesn't stay too much. Yeah. So you just lot. layer it with mask because exactly. it will uplift it. So I think it's a very contemporary take on on mask and I think everyone should try it. Mm. Uh, Francois, last question. Um, yes. I would like to talk about ingredients, right? Yes. So you are, uh, you know, in the center of perfume, in the heart of perfume. What roles, what role does it play that you also kind of testing a lot of ingredients? So what, how important is it for you to not only try fragrances from other brands, but also, you know, try, try ingredients? Uh, uh, I think um, if you, I don't have the skill to make a perfume. I yeah. don't know. It's a required talent. It required memory. It required training. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are. We say a word. We say cooking. Yeah. You right. heard about that? Yeah. No. So cooking but is. Um, uh, let's say that um, you're not a, a trained perfumer, but you buy some essential oil. And then you mix mix and, around. Exactly. And but you see, uh, that was 21 Country Street, by the way, yeah, yeah. because Oli uh, from uh, our store in London at that yeah. time now is uh, independent, but he was cooking at home. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we had to put him, to put him in the hands of a, a trained perfumer so that uh, the learns. formula is back on track and, okay. and follow all the regulations. But uh, I don't even have that uh, ability to cook at home. Right. So when you brief a perfumer, it's better if you know the raw materials or you have experienced them. Mm -hmm. I'm a patchouli guy. Yeah, okay. psychedelic um, guy. I am psychedelic, and yeah. and uh, and the story comes when I was your age again, yeah. maybe a bit less now that I know the true story. Uh, <laughs> I was more in my twenties, and okay. I was in Vietnam, and I made distillation of several uh, aromatic herbs uh, yeah. and patchouli. Okay. And you know, Indonesian patchouli is a uh, Indonesian. Patchouli. You're right. He knows the uh, best patchouli in the world for mm -hmm. me is probably Indonesian. Yeah. And the Vietnamese one, they don't have that culture to make mm -hmm. essential oil with patchouli, but they have that patchouli in their uh, garden. Right. They use it for uh, uh, herbal tea or thing like that, more aromatical yeah. uh, purpose. Um, and so we managed to uh, make some tests coming from the steel, the oil collector which is already magic. Yeah. 
It's like the alchemist playing with uh, a lean Maybe, sparks, yeah, yeah. and and then you Magical. have oil. Oh my goodness! As a farmer, son, grandson of a farmer, yeah, it's it's. I, I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing when yeah. I do that. Right. So, bottom line, I have it. It, it really tattooed my memory. Yeah, I want to see this beautiful Vietnamese patchouli, which is closer to the Indonesian actually. Mm -hmm. In all the fragrances, not on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I think when when once you get to know more about the raw materials, it's easier to talk also with the nose. Yeah, and then you can you know. I talk too much. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, great! Stopping. It's great. I mean, you know, I, sh I don't want to stop you at all because you know you bring a lot of experience, and you know I it's know. great to have have the backstory of a perfume that you love. I this mean, this is what a, a, a polite person said to an old guy. Said, you bring a lot of experience. <laughs> no, 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 sure. I mean, yesterday I was talking to my Indian friends uh, from Sentido okay. and that we talked about hot Indian weather and mm. how good psych uh, psychedelic does ah. there. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's it's completely opposite of India, to be honest, because it's such a potent fragrance that just does very oh, well in India. India, you have Goha, you have all the hippies who yeah. use uh, the oil. I mean, uh, and it was the insp original inspiration for psychedelic, by the yeah? way. So back to the roots of India. I'm happy yeah. that we can find uh, this like, said, psychedelic uh, yeah. uh, fragrance in uh, yeah. Mumbai. Absolutely. It's know. amazing. No, Delhi. great. Yeah, yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, but but uh, uh, Francois, thank you very much no, for, thank you uh, for taking your time. time. Uh, mask Palace, guys, try it out. Uh, it's a very beautiful take on mask. Um, layer it. Uh, not so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. I'm I'm curious to learn your opinion on Mask Palace. Thank Francois, you thank you time. very much. All the best. Pleasure. Really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>